everyone. I'm now in Gouda. I'm going to meet Anna, an alumni Earth and Environment. She also did a bachelor's here in Wageningen, soil, water and atmosphere. She now works in uh, Acacia and I'm now going to find out what she does. Could you explain to me why you chose for the studies? I was always really interested in the part uh, of the Earth where humans live in and all the natural processes that take place. And in Wageningen I could really learn all those processes and work on a more sustainable environment. After the bachelor, I studied the uh, master earth environment with uh, hydrology, with a specialization in hydrology and water resources. And it, yeah, water is just so interesting. It, it, it's essential for life and um, it does not stick to boundaries. And, and what was the best part of your studies? Uh, we did a lot of field work. Uh, we always had great trips, even in the Netherlands, but also abroad. It was really interesting. And where did you go abroad? Um, we went to France, Germany, um, Belgium, Spain, Iceland. Uh, and for my thesis, I went to Ecuador. So you work for Acacia Waters. Uh, what do other friends who did your studies do after they graduate? Um, so I have several study friends uh, who also work uh, as a PhD. For example, in Wageningen, but also uh, somewhere else abroad. Um, I also have no. other study friends who work for a consultancy firm, just as I do, or in research. Um, for example, at Deltadas or Arcadas or Royal yeah. Hoskoni. Um, so you have several options after you graduate? Yes. So we're now in the office of Acacia Water. What do you do here, so? So uh, normally I'm sitting in my office, that's over here. Uh, come see. So, um, this is my office and I usually work um, on hydrological uh, assessments. So, I make an analysis of um, catchments, um, what is the water balance, how much water is there available for abstraction, for uh, people to use. I also work on hydrological models. So, uh, I work a lot with GIS, so making our spatial collective field data visible on maps. I also have a lot of meetings with my colleagues here. And is your work mainly in the Netherlands or abroad? So most of my days I work in the Netherlands here at my office in Gouda. Um, but 50% of my projects are related to uh, projects abroad. Um, so um, once every four months I go uh, abroad to, for example, Sudan or Uganda uh, to work with workshops or with our local partners or do field work um, but yeah most days I'm just working here Okay, so why are we now at this ditch? So now I'm measuring salinity. I'm testing new sensors. Uh, and this afternoon we're going to share these sensors uh, with, our, with farmers in the Netherlands uh, so they can measure their own salinity. And this way they can find out if the water uh, from the ditch can be used to irrigate their fields or not. So during my studies, we had a lot of field work and it's because we got a lot of theory uh, about physics and stuff, but they also always wanted you to uh, see the theory in the field and in practice. Okay, and um, luckily for Gouda this water is fresh, so that's good. So I hope this gives you a good overview of what you could do after the studies Earth and Environment. If you have any further questions, just click on the link below. And don't forget to like and subscribe on the Wageningen University YouTube channel Virtue. And uh, do it! Bye! <laughs>